So I'm on my maiden voyage of 2017 in my 71 Chevelle. We have my new replacement warranty Phytech unit in there, uh, as well as the new valve springs. Uh, so hopefully the engine doesn't fill up. And we're just gonna go for a little cruise just to try to get the ECU to learn a little bit and see how it goes. Tech set to uh, just the stock settings. I haven't made any tuning changes thus far, um, except for a little bit on my AFR target. So I know from the previous time I've had my Phytech that uh, my car likes a little leaner condition, probably because I've found the plugs that right. get your Phytech um, or either any of these self-learning TVIs, you want to give it some time, some miles uh, driving around so it can learn. They say it's supposed to get better and better the more you drive it. Um, I can see my last one got worse. So I'm hoping this one is actually going to do better. We will see. Because I'm using the default settings, I know that there's going to be a few uh, idiosyncrasies, I guess you could call it, where um, the, the idle is going to want to hang up a little bit on deacceleration, which I know I can tune that out a little bit. Um, so there's, there's a couple things that I know is going to happen, but right now I just wanted to try to learn as much as it can itself uh, within the first, at least few, few miles, I guess. driving around on my drag tires so I have my drag radials in the back and skinny tires in the front which makes the handling kind of crappy. Um, I was at, when I first got the tires on I was surprised just how much steering input I had to put into the uh, wheel just to get it to turn. Also there's a lot more uh, return to center from this uh, I let it go, right? Big rich right there. I think I was seeing like 11. <laughs> because of how rich I've seen this thing run before, uh, it really makes me wonder if these uh, eight injector 1200 horsepower units are really for these engines that are you know, under 500 horsepower. Uh, makes me wonder. So. Another thing you can do is you can hit the log on button on the dis under the dashboard, and that will record all your data that's going on. And uh, it saves to just a simple Excel file, so it's easy to read later on. When you have your Phytech, when you're driving around and you're letting the self-learning do its thing, you want to make sure that uh, you give it different RPMs within speed limit, of course.
176 degrees Fahrenheit. I am, of course, using the uh, GM sensor, not the Phytec sensor because it jumped. Said it before, say it again. Um, so I'm also running a 180 degree thermostat just to allow the Phytec to go into a closed loop state because uh, with the Phytec sensor, uh, last fall before it got into winter, um, it was running as low as 136 degrees, or I should say it was registering as low as 136 degrees when driving around, uh, despite my analog coolant sensor telling me it was about 165. So there's no way that, given where the sensors are related to each other, there's no way there were 30 degrees uh, difference. So if you're seeing problems, change your sensor. lots of learning to do which means a lot more driving to do so I'm okay with that um, but I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching